Hello, I'm Katie Cressel Maynard and I'm an engineer. Today I'm going to tell you the story of Ivy and the really useful 1000. Whoa! What is that? Ivy, a small girl with a curious mind, was looking at a ginormous mountain of rubbish. That's the dump, said Dennis the dog. That's the rubbish from all the people of this town. Oh, said Ivy. So what happens to it? Nothing, said Dennis. Nothing, said Ivy. So it just sits here? Until when exactly? Dennis shrugged. I don't know. Surely there's something we can do with it. It's really smelly. And look, you can see disgusting rats running around. This dump is a big problem, said Ivy. Ivy pushed open the gate to the dump and marched inside, dragging Dennis behind her. Holding her nose with one hand, Ivy looked through the rubbish. There's actually some really useful things in here, she said, and stuffed bits of this and bits of that into the big rucksack she always wore. Dennis rolled his eyes. He was hungry, but he feared Ivy might not be interested in going home for dinner for a while. When they finally got home, it was dark. Dennis gobbled his dinner quickly and lay down for a snooze. Ivy ran down to the garden shed and laid out the contents of her bag. Springs, tin cans, small rubber wheels, big rubber wheels, huge rubber wheels, a torch, some sandwich bags, rope, plastic bottles, a jam jar. Scratching her head, she wondered how she could turn this rubbish into something really useful. Really useful, thought Ivy. What would be really useful? She jumped up, a big grin on her face. That's it, she shouted. I'm going to make the really useful. A machine that will do all the really useful things people want doing. Running back into the house, Ivy was so excited that she didn't see Dennis snoozing by the back door. Whoa, she yelled as she flew through the air and landed with a big thump on the floor. Ouch, she said. She had a big bump on her forehead and a graze on her knee. It would have been really useful if someone had moved Dennis out of the way. Dennis stirred from his slumber. He thought it would have been really useful if Ivy had been looking where she was going. But he was curious about why she had rushed into the house in such a hurry. Dennis, said Ivy, I've had an amazing idea. I'm going to turn that old rubbish into a machine that will do all the really useful things people want doing. It's going to be called the really useful. Still a bit sleepy, Dennis began to dream about what he would like the really useful to do gourmet dinners of lamb chops and beef stew, long walks in the park stopping to sniff whatever he wanted, endless tummy tickling and bum scratching. Ivy got out her sketchbook, wrote down Dennis's wish list and then realised that asking others what they would like the really useful to do was what she needed to do next. By asking lots of different people and dogs what they would find useful, the really useful would be, well, really useful. So Ivy asked her mum and dad what they would find useful. She asked her nan and granddad. She asked the neighbours and the neighbours' neighbours. She asked her friends at school and she even asked the teachers. Slowly, she assembled a list of really useful things the really useful could do. Tidying toys away, playing hide and seek, finding missing spectacles, making cheese sandwiches, cleaning the house, baking chocolate cupcakes, poking dad when he snores, brushing teeth, marking homework. The list kept going. It was really long. Wow, said Ivy. Adding it all up, she realized the list had 1,000 items people and dogs wanted help with. This is great. I'm going to call my creation the really useful 1,000 so everyone knows just how useful it is. Ivy headed back down to the shed. She was there for a while, drawing up ideas and tinkering with the rubbish she had bought back from the dump. It took her a whole week, but finally she had the first version of the Really Useful 1000 ready. Mum, Dad, Dennis! Ivy wheeled the Really Useful 1000 into the house. Ivy's mum and dad and Dennis stood amazed at what Ivy had brought in. Could their small girl with a curious mind really have made what they saw in front of them? Ivy pushed the big green button on the front of the Really Useful 1000 and it sprung into life. Together, they tested that it could do everything on the list. They were nearly at the end of the list when Dennis ran in from the bathroom. Ivy, we have a problem. 
It won't brush my teeth. Upset, Ivy wailed. But it's called the Really Useful 1000. It can't be called that, but only do 999 things. Ivy felt sad. To cheer her up, her dad took her to the zoo. It was a rainy day. Sitting in the car on the way, Ivy watched the windscreen wipers going back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. That's it, Ivy said. Turn around, Dad. We've got to get to the dump. Arriving at the dump, Ivy jumped out of the car and rushed over to the mountain of rubbish. Just as she had remembered, there was an old windscreen wiper lying on the floor. She hadn't thought it would be useful before, but now she knew it was exactly what she was looking for. Back home, Ivy fitted the windscreen wiper to the really useful 1000. She loaded up her toothbrush with toothpaste and did the same for her mum, dad and Dennis. She placed the toothbrushes in the special holders she had attached to the wiper. Everyone stood in position and Ivy pressed the big green button. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Amazing, said Ivy's dad. Fabulous, said Ivy's mum. Sparkling, said Dennis. They all stood in the mirror and grinned at their white, shiny teeth. Well done, Ivy, exclaimed Ivy's mum proudly. You've cracked it. Ivy the innovator, engineer extraordinaire. For the next few weeks, Ivy and her family were really busy. They had to make a really useful 1,000 for everyone that had helped Ivy make her list. Every day, they went back to the dump to look for more parts. I've just had a thought, said Dennis. I know it's called the really useful 1,000, but... What if it could do just one more thing? What if it could make more really useful 1000s? Then we could enjoy the chocolate cupcakes and the lamb chops, and at the same time, make sure as much rubbish as possible is reused. Dennis, said Ivy, that's a brilliant idea. And with that, the really useful 1000 became the really useful 1000 and one.